Hey friends, welcome to June Favorites. So I have a lot to share with you guys. I have a fair amount of beauty products. I have some health related products. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been like all about this new healthy lifestyle kick. I mean, I've always been, have, I've always had a healthy lifestyle kick, but I've kind of made a bit of a transition to my diet and I've got some fun things to share with you guys. I'm super excited. And then I have a few fashion items. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we'll start with the new products. We'll start with the brand new products that I discovered this month that I am loving. The first I wanna start with are these blush and bronzer dupes duos by Ofra Cosmetics. This is part of the Samantha March collaboration with Ofra. And I ordered the act the whole like PR set. So you can actually purchase the PR set. And that's what I did on their website. And it came with these two products. It also came with another highlighter and um, two lip products. And these I have not been able to put down since I picked them up. So the first one we'll talk about is this blush duo. It's called Chiclet. And I'm going to see if I can get a little closer so you guys can see. It is the most beautiful beautiful like pinky apricot shade the texture of this feels like a I mean it feels like a velvety powder like I don't even want to use the word creamy even though it is like really pigmented and luxe it has like a a very unique feeling to it. It's really, really nice. And then it has this like mauve highlighter on top. It's so, so pretty. This color is pretty perfect. I know it's hard to tell here. Let's see if I can swatch here and you guys can see a little better. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this. I've been wearing this since I got it. I've had it for a few days, maybe a week now. Um, and then the bronzer I'm actually wearing today, it's a bronzer duo and the shade is River. So you can purchase these individually on Ofra Cosmetics, but you can also purchase the set. This bronzer, same formula, just super soft and velvety, very pigmented. And then the highlight bronzer is, I mean, I feel like you could use that as a bronzer anyway. It's these two right here. Why is it so hard to put down certain fingers and leave certain fingers up? They're so, so pretty. The, the texture of these are like very, very unique. Um, I don't I don't really know of anything I can compare them to, to them as far as the way that they feel. They're probably my favorite powder that I've ever used. Is that weird to say? That might be weird to say. I would put this right up there with Hourglass even though they're so different. I wouldn't compare them as being similar, but I think Hourglass powders are so unique. And if you use them, you know what I'm talking about. And these are the same. So, um, and also the packaging, I love this. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, so wanted to share those for sure and highlight those. Um, let's move along. I have another couple of bronzers, but I don't want to bore you with bronzers from the start. So let's move on to this eye palette that I have on my eyes right now. This is not new. I've had it for a while, but I just pulled this out and rediscovered it, and it's so beautiful. It is the Natasha Denona uh, Mini Star Palette. It's so pretty. I Today I have on my eyes, I have this one in my crease, I have this on my eyelid, and then underneath my lash line, I actually mixed these two, which translate a lot more sheer than they look here. You could pack these on the lid and get more payoff. I'll show you what it looks like. Really, really pretty. Kind of that duochrome, highly reflective kind of changes when the light hits it shade. This one is so beautiful and unique. It's like this olivey, golden bronze shade, so pretty. And then this is what I have on my lid, which is such a beautiful tan kind of rosy gold shade. I feel like it's really unique. When I wear this on the eyes, I get so many compliments. And then you've got your two kind of basic neutral um, crease and outer corner shades. Really, really pr pretty. Of course, it's missing a brow highlight, but that's okay. I feel like you can grab a brow highlight from any um, palette. Loving that. Um, let's move on to this new product. Now this is brand new. I just picked this up the other day, you guys. So full disclaimer there. Um, but it is so cute and I used it today and I love it. Um, it's the Kaja, uh, what are these called? They're called, why is the name not on the bottom? They're like a, it's like a blush stamp. So on the bottom you get like this cushion blush color, cushion product lots of pigment. And then on the uh, top part of the component, you get a stamp. So you actually just, you know, pick up the product and stamp it on your cheek. It creates a little heart shape. You do need to work kind of quickly to blend it out. It does, I have it on my cheeks right now. So you can see that it blends out pretty sheer. You can get a nice sheer application. You can also build it and get a little more color if you want as well. In fact, let's do that. Let me just show you guys so that you can see what I'm talking about. We're gonna be bold. I don't even have a brush here. We're gonna, we're gonna be brave and try our fingers. Um, but I'm just gonna pop it right here. Okay, I don't have much product on, but you can see I got a little bit. 
and then it just shears out real nicely. It gives a little bit of a glow to the skin. This particular color is the shade Saucy, 02 Saucy. Um, they have like maybe five or six shades. There was another few colors that I thought would look really nice, kind of like real pretty colors for summer, but it's so pretty. And I think it's a fun little unique component that you get. Um, so I wanted to share that. I really, I'm all about cream and liquid blushes lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but I've, I haven't really, that's not true. I've picked up powder blushes recently, but I've really kind of found myself using like moussey blushes or cream blush or a little cushion blush. I think it just gives a real natural kind of sheer look and a little bit of a glow. So really pretty. Speaking of glow, I wanted to share two bronzers by NARS. So NARS revamped their bronzer collection from what I understand. They launched a few new matte shades and then I believe that they revamped the texture of the bronzers and changed the packaging. Um, so both of these were sent to me in PR and I wanted to share them. This is the classic Laguna bronzer. It has a bit of a sheen. I remember using this years ago and loving it, but to be honest, I hadn't had this in my collection in a long time, years. And since I received this, several weeks ago. I've been using it and loving it. Uh, it does have a sheen. I wouldn't really call it a shimmer. Uh, it does have a sheen. And I will actually link the video that I did where I swatch all of the bronzers from the collection, but this is what it looks like. You can see there's a little bit of a sheen, but when you apply it with a light fluffy brush, you don't really see that much shimmer. You just see a very subtle glow. And then this product came with it. And I'll be honest, when I first opened this product, I was like, yeah, that's not going to work for me. Um, but I've grown to love it and I will explain. So this is the Paradise Found Bronzing Powder. It comes in this beautiful packaging, very large compact. You open it and you get this bronzer. Now, do you see here in the outer corner all the this gold speckle. When you get this product, the whole product is like that gold speckle. Okay. So I opened it and I saw all this gold shimmer and I thought, ah, eh, that's pretty, but not my thing. Uh, but what happens is, and I'll show you once you use that first little layer, the gold like literally comes off. It's just like a spray overlay on the product. And then you get a beautiful light bronzer below it. Um, so uh, to be honest, I kind of swatched that off and just swatched it in my video, but I didn't really start to use it until I had removed it from the top part. And then that's what I love. And it smells, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> It smells like vacation. It's like right up there with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, you know, that scent. If you like scents like that, you have to check this out. I don't know what it is. I need to like, should I should know that, but it's like sweet and coconutty or something amazing. Um, and it too has a sheen. It's lighter than the Laguna. So if you find that Laguna is too dark, this would be a good option for you as well. So I wanted to share those two. And from that same collection, they launched, um, I don't know if these are new shades or a new formula, but it's the uh, oil infused lip tint by NARS and the shade Reef. When you apply this on the lips, right off the bat, you recognize that it's a unique texture. It's not like any other lip gloss. I'll apply it so you can see. You can feel that oil, uh, but in a in a very pleasing way. It's not bad. It's very, very lightweight, uh, very slippery, super glossy, as you can tell, very sheer. So you can top this pretty much on top of any lipstick. And what you're going to get is more of a high shine. There is a little bit of a sheen to this and shimmer, but to be honest, it's so fine that you barely even see it. You just see this wet kind of sheer um, gloss on top. You can also wear it by itself. It's very nourishing, nourishing to the lips, very hydrating. If you like to go to bed with a, like a lot of product on your lips, I usually use the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but if you don't mind like something like this on your lips, um, with a little bit of color, this would be a nice treatment to wear at night too. Really love this. I've just been throwing it on cause it's so easy. Just throwing it on top of any lipstick and it adds like that perfect gloss shine. Um, what I'm wearing today is also one of my favorites for the month. It's the Wayne Goss lipstick in the shade Daisy. And I would describe this as a good old, like classic peachy nude shade. It kind of reminds me of maybe a little more pink than peach stock from Mac, which used to be a favorite of mine back in the day. I like the texture of these lipsticks too. You can see that there's a sheen and a shine to them. They're buildable. So you can get kind of a lighter application, but it just takes another layer and you get a pretty opaque finish. They feel very nice on the lips. Um, I picked, I didn't pick up any other lipsticks. I picked up two glosses, which I also love, but I don't have them in my favorites. Uh, but this particular shade, I 
love. And I kind of love the combination of these two together. It's a very like peachy muted nude lip with a high glossy shine. So, so pretty. Um, okay. So let's talk about a couple of skincare products. This is not a new product. I've pretty much maybe shared this in almost every favorites video, maybe not every favorites video, but it's made a few favorites videos since I started using this back in November. It's the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. And the reason I want to share it again today is because um, it is the middle of summer. Well, technically I think summer just started, but in Texas it's been summer for like two months. It's the middle of summer. It's hot as you know what. <laughs> and uh, I don't want a lot of heavy foundation on my skin, okay? I don't want all of that. So some days when I'm not filming and I'm maybe, I mean, we're not, I'm not really going anywhere most of the time anyway, right? Uh, but this has a tint to it. So it just makes the skin look a little bit better than it does with nothing on, but it doesn't offer any coverage or anything. It just looks slightly better than with nothing. It has an SPF. So it's my daily SPF. So let's just get that out of the way, right? We should all be using an SPF. So this is a necessity. But what I also love about it having a tint is that, you know, when I do want to put some makeup on, I don't want to reach for a medium coverage, definitely not a full coverage foundation. I want to reach for something light because I don't need a lot of coverage, especially when I have this on. So I've been mixing this. I found that my favorite combinations with this is the L'Oreal Freshwear Foundation. Ugh, this with a little bit of that foundation on on top is just beautiful and it's long wearing and it's natural looking. Uh, it's just, it's like my favorite combination of the moment, but I wanted to share this because this is so, so good. My favorite SPF. It also is a hydrating SPF. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So if you um, have really dry skin and you are trying to get all the hydration you need, this is a great option. Also sometimes too guys, um, I find that I get enough hydration just from using my SK2 Essence, waiting a few minutes, then applying this, that I don't add um, a moisturizer in between these, which is crazy because I've always done that. But I'm finding that if I just really load up my hydration at night and use a richer emollient um, cream at night, and I don't like the feeling of a lot of heavy products in the morning. I'm really trying to minimize my steps. And so these two together really give me enough hydration without being heavy, without making my makeup break down and look oily and thick throughout the day. So um, brings me to my next product, the SK2 Essence. Now, um, I started using this back in February. If you guys remember, I did a video sponsored by SK2 back in April, I think is when it went up, April or March, whatever. Um, and so I've this bottle, I've the same bottle bottle that I've been using since then. So I will definitely keep this product in my skincare routine, which is crazy because it's very expensive, you guys. I won't just like brush over that like it's no big deal. I get it. It's a, it's expensive. Um, and you know, when the uh, Sephora sale, what was it? When did that Sephora sale happen? Was it April? I picked another bottle up of this. My point is, is that I love this product. I believe in this product. In essence, is going to stay in my routine. Um, it's going to stay in my routine. Bottom line, there you go. Okay, the last skincare product I have is the Tula uh, Cult Classic Cleanser. This is my second uh, tube bottle of this. It's just a really great daily cleanser. It's gentle, doesn't dry or strip the skin, but it doesn't feel too, um, you know, I love cleansing balms. I love the Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm. Uh, but in the summertime, I need something that I feel like it leaves my skin a little more taut. You know, I need something that uh, I feel like really just blah, gets it all out. And this one is is good. So um, I love this. This was sent to me in PR. You guys, this is not sponsored, but um, this was one of those products that was sent to me and that I discovered and I will repurchase because I love it so much. It's a great, great product. If you haven't tried it, you will like it. I don't know the price point on it, but I believe Tula's products are pretty, you know, moderately priced, more on the affordable side of skincare. Okay, the last beauty product I want to share with you guys is this conditioner. Um, I pretty much have decided that anything this brand makes, I'm going to try because I love the scent of it. So I picked this up the other day and I used it. Um, have you, have I used this twice? Yeah. Yes. I've used it twice, but right after the first time I used it in the shower, I could feel a difference in my hair, just like, so soft and silky. Um, and then drying my hair, it didn't weigh it down. It gave a shine. It smells so good. Uh, and it's funny because I've always been an Orbe or a Colleen Rothschild conditioner mask and that one I still love, but it's nice to try different things. You know, I feel like I can't talk about the same products. My job here is to try different things and see what's good and see what's not. And this is good. 
Okay, you guys, let's talk real quickly about a couple of fashion pieces, and then I'm gonna save the very few health pieces I have towards the end because I'm super excited about them and I wanna kinda of dive into those. So I wanna share with you a couple of things that I'm loving. Um, the first is this top by Treasure and Bond. I'll hold it up here. I'll also take a picture and share it here so you guys can see what it looks like. But this is a top I picked up a few weeks ago. It has a little tie around the waist. I love it. I love the color. I love the black and the rust color of this. Um, I was a little confused when I got it because the tag is right here, but I'm like, surely this this is the front. It's the front. But I love it. It's a great top for summer. It's got a cute little neckline here. I love the buttons in the front and I love how light and flowy and airy it is. This is another top by Treasure and Bond that I picked up. It does have a little elastic cinch waist here so that goes around the stomach. So I had to size up in this because the extra small in this top around the waist having that tightness there, I wasn't a fan of that. But I love a good chambray top. I've been buying all the chambray dresses and tops that I can find and this is a good one. And this is also by Tre Treasure and Bond, and it has a fun little ruffle. Again, I will insert a picture so you guys can see. It has a fun little kind of ruffle at the bottom, which I think makes it cute. You can wear it with jeans, or you can wear it with shorts. Um, speaking of shorts, let me share these, and I hope they're available. I, I know when I got online to order some more shorts from this brand, they were like sold out, but hopefully they will restock. They are these shorts by Cut from the Cloth, and the style of these are called... What is the style of these? Madeline Boyfriend Short. And you guys, ugh, I love these shorts. I'm gonna tell you, quite honestly, I really struggle finding good shorts. Everything I find is either too tight around my thighs and my butt because I have more like muscular thighs or muscular, bigger, whatever you wanna call them. They just, they are, are thicker. And shorts are very tight on me or they're too short. I don't want too short of shorts. Um, but I also don't want Bermuda shorts. You know, I want something that's that's modern and fun, but I'm comfortable and I'm not feeling like I'm always having to pull down. And these are a very good size. When I first got them, I kept the tag on and I wore them around the house for like two hours just to make sure that I could really break them in. And now they're perfect. So really, really, really great great cut. I will share a picture too in these so you can actually see how they fit. As far as the sizing, I got a size four. I am usually a four in bottoms, like a four in jeans or a four in shorts. Um, if, a, if a brand runs really big, then I'm a two, but fours are, are where, where I'm more comfortable. Okay, I've got three pairs of shoes to share with you. The first ones are these um, block heels by uh, made well. They're so cute. They come in a couple of other shades or colors, but I really love this kind of python print. I like the heel height, not too high. Uh, I've been wearing them with shorts, which is a fun way to dress up shorts. They're really comfortable. Um, they were, and they have been on sale. Hopefully they'll, they're still on sale by the time I get this up. And they also come in just solid black and like a solid camel color. So I will link to both of styles down below, but love these. Okay. And then last I'm going to share two sneakers with you guys. Ah, these are so dirty because I've been wearing them so much. I've been running a ton on our trails in our neighborhood and our trails are very rocky. You gotta be careful when you run. You can't just look straight ahead. You gotta be looking down at all times. And uh, when I started running, I was using my old running shoes that I would just run on flat ground with and they just were too bulky. I found my ankle kind of like, you know, wanting to give out a lot. And so I did some research and I found um, these trail running shoes by Brooks and you guys, I love them. If you run outside on grass or rocky or gravel, um, I can't tell you what a difference having shoes like this has made. They're called the um, grit, pure grit. And I always order a half size up. So I'm normally a seven, but I ordered a seven and a half in these. Love them. Love, love, love. So I will share a link to these. And then the last pair of shoes I want to share are these other fun. I ordered them both. I kind of splurged. I never buy sneakers two ever. In fact, I usually like wait till my sneakers are worn to the ground before I order another pair, but I found these on Brooks's website. They are like snake. Aren't these so cute? I love Brooks sneakers, but I'll be honest. I feel like it's taken them a long time to catch up to like being cute. And these are so cute. So these are obviously bigger, bulkier. They're better for running on, you know, flat pavement or streets, but I will um, share these as well. Again, I ordered a half size up on these too. Okay. Let's 
share um, these, these, I guess we'll call these health products. I don't know. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I have been really shifting my diet over the last few months. And I'm going to make a video soon on more about that. So I'm not going to spend too much time in this video talking about that, but I've really been trying to transition to a very heavy plant-based diet. I'm not saying I'm never going to eat meat again, but I'm really trying to like really cut back on meat. Um, and it's been about three weeks and I think I've had salmon two or three times, uh, and, and everything else has been, you know, plant-based. Um, the one book that I cannot recommend enough, you guys, that has really helped me, uh, shift my mindset around food is this book. It's called the beauty detox solution. And I've purchased it first on audible. And I listened to it when I would run my trails in the neighborhood. And, uh, I love it. It's all about how the foods we eat, it's not all about weight loss, okay? I feel like my whole life, I've always looked at food as how many carbs, how many calories, how much protein, you know, all of that. And I really wanna shift my mindset. I wanna look at food as like, what's gonna make me feel great? What's gonna give me energy? What's gonna nourish my body? What's gonna keep me healthy? Long term, you know, what kind of lifestyle is going to have me in my 70s feeling great, right? And um, this book has really shift my mindset to that type of, that way of thinking about food. Her whole theory is all about digestion and how, you know, our body is so taxed when we are digesting food. So when we eat foods that our body, one, aren't really designed to digest, you know, certain foods digest quicker than others, right? There's a big degree of, you know, how some foods digest in the body and how the body processes them. The book is all about maximizing your diet to get the most nutrients and minerals from your food and so your body can actually absorb them. And the reason it's called the beauty detox solution is because she talks about how foods like directly correlate with our beauty, right? Because again, if your body's always digesting and your all of the energy from your body is going to digest your food, then it's not going to, you know, produce collagen and, you know, help keep us young and vital and beautiful, you know? It's it's all about energy, right? If we are taxing our body with energy, that can't be used to, you know, help stimulate beauty, right? Anyway, it's a very, very interesting book. It's very science backed. Um, I actually listened to it in a couple of days on my runs and I was so excited about it that I started it right again. And I've actually read it twice in the last two and a half weeks because I just want to listen to it over and over so that I understand it and I can speak about it with, you know, like I know what I'm talking about and I really understand it. So I love this book. It has some recipes in it. So that's why I purchased the hard copy because I did want to be able to reference the recipes in here. I have since ordered, she has a cookbook. Uh, I think it's called the beauty detox foods or something. And I purchased that. I just arrived the other day. So I haven't really made any recipes from it yet, but I wanted to share it. Um, I know it's only been a few weeks, but I would say life changing honestly life-changing and I feel amazing again I'm gonna talk all about this in another video but I feel so good you guys so good okay I want to share this product with you if you follow me on Instagram you've seen me talk about this a few times it is called bio coffee and my health coach actually turned me on to this it is uh, no it does there's no caffeine in it and I'm someone that always has to start my day with coffee. You know, it's part of my ritual. I enjoy the experience of making a cup of coffee and sitting down and sipping on it while I kind of catch up and kind of plan my day. Um, but it was kind of, I noticed that my coffee was kind of making my stomach feel weird. And I'm sure it wasn't just the coffee. I'm sure it's combined with other things, you know, a part of my diet. But I would just notice that I wasn't I was starting my day off and after I drank the coffee, I would feel not the best. Um, and also I wanted to kind of cut back on caffeine, which is crazy for me because I'm, I'm, this is going to be so long. I'm going to try not to make this so long, but, um, I'm just excited and I want to share it because I think that, you know, if you are, uh, where I'm at or where I was at, this is really helpful, but I was someone that would drink coffee in the morning and then I'd have another cup around 11 probably. And then I'd have an energy drink later in the day, you know, and I was like, oh, that can't be good for me. It can't be good for my body. Body to have all that caffeine. So my wellness coach turned me on to this. It contains wheatgrass, 
which I'll admit, I know that sounds gross. Um, <laughs> it's the only alkaline coffee on the market. It does not have caffeine in it. Um, it has probiotics, prebiotics, and it has fiber. I, I want to say it has like, yeah, six grams of fiber. Okay. So it, six grams of fiber. It has 77 calories. It has three grams of protein. You guys, um, it does have 17 grams of carbs. Uh, but what it is, is it's a little, like an instant coffee. It comes in these little packets. It's good. You guys, it is good. It is really good. You do not feel like you were eating something like wheatgrass or a supplement or you feel like you're having your, actually I have a cup right now. You feel like you're having your cup of coffee in the morning. Now it dissolves really quick with a spoon. If you put it with hot water and just stir a spoon, it dissolves. It doesn't have chunky little spots. It totally dissolves super easy. But I want to share my last favorite for the month, which is this little milk frother that I got that I got from Amazon. Um, so what I do is I take one packet, I put it in my mug. We have in our house one of those just automatic hot water dispensers, so I fill it with hot water. I do add one scoop of my collagen protein powder, which I will link down below. It's vanilla flavored. And then I just stick this little thing in there and I mix it for like 10 seconds, five seconds, and then I have delicious coffee. Now I will say my collagen creamer, I specifically drink that for the collagen. Now, when I was drinking black coffee, I would add it for taste, but this, you guys, tastes great on its own. It tastes like coffee with creamer. It actually has a non-dairy creamer in it, so you don't need to add creamer to it. Um, this cup right here does not have my collagen in it because I already had it this morning. It's really good all by itself. It's called Bio Coffee. I will leave a link to it in the description box. It's like healthy coffee. It's healthy coffee. I discovered healthy coffee and I'm pretty proud of that. And if you order this and try it, I will, you can, I will say you're welcome right now because <laughs> you will love it. It has, it's hundred percent organic. Let me see what else it says. Okay. I'm going to just say this and then we'll end the video. I know I've kept so much of your time here. Bio coffee is hundred percent organic, specially formulated blend of Colombian coffee and wheatgrass. Bio coffee is the only alkaline coffee on the market An instant drink. Just add water. Wheatgrass is one of nature's superfoods. It's equivalent to having three to five servings of green vegetables in one cup. Uh, it's an excellent source of fiber, a great prebiotic and probiotic provides chlorophyll, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. So there you have it and it's good. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I feel like this was one of my favorite finds of the month. Um, so yeah, that wraps up my June favorites. I don't even know how long this video has been, but if you're still here, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, all your questions down in the comment section below. I would love to know what products you discovered this month that you are loving. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.